Hello, my friends, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. In our last video, we did continue to work on the case, The Naked City, and we have left off needing to head over, or back to, rather, Dr. Stoneman's practice because he is involved in the robberies, at least. I'm not sure about the murder part of it, but there's at least Dr. Stoneman and then one other person we need to find because there were two guys who, who killed... Julia, the victim, I think that's her name. I'm always, I, I'm horrible with names. But anyway, hop in partner. Where, do, where are we going in relation to where we are right now? So behind me, so why don't I just, I'll turn on Highland and then back on Hollywood and then in theory, I'll get there. I'll probably still ask my partner, but just in case he rambles for a while. Maybe he'll ramble? I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. <laughs> so how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. He's I've his. had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. <laughs> Next time you can take the runner, Roy. Yeah, I Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? I should have never told you that. <laughs> Keep straight. He arranges the parties so that the robberies can happen. Remember, were you not there with us, Roy? I mean, pay attention. Straight on. Go straight through. Straight through, and then it looks like take a right. And then a right again. Right here, right? Yes? Maybe? This is the place. Why is it not doing the cutscene? You know, it's fine. We'll just get out right here. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Maybe. Okay, it's still open. Uh, what floor was he on, though? Fifth floor. Come in, Roy. Let's go get the the evil doctor. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. <laughs> I do appreciate how Cole pushes the button to go up before his partner's even in the elevator. <laughs> like, I don't need you. We're good. And this was his. Yep. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Uh-oh. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. ruh -ro. I'm so glad you came. Really? Prison will be better than insanity and I'm already half insane with grief oh yeah he did you a big crush on her. her yeah I remember now I ruined my life for her and yet I still love her will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies they organized the robberies Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties didn't matter how much money I showered upon her it was never enough she never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Lock me up and throw away the key. I don't know how long that's going to last for, because you did just... <gasps> oh, no! oh, my God! Didn't see that coming. God. I can't believe he did that! The shame. Oh, 
That was. Oh, we're using the phone apparently. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. I need an ambulance on the coroner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Iver Street, Hollywood. En route, detective. You have a message. Oh. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. I was hoping to actually click on this piece of paper here. Thinking it might have been a suicide note. Oh ma'am. Oh, that was that was I did not <laughs> obviously I did not see that coming. I was just like you're not gonna be able to get locked away forever with because you were just committed robbery, so I don't know, is it if, maybe it was because somebody died in the commission of robberies or something. Look, I, I sound like I know what I'm talking about, and I don't. <laughs> um, that old boy really fell for that broad. Yeah, he really did. She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. Ouch. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Wow. You're a real... Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's, let's just move on. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. That's the guy from the paper. Thank God I didn't park there. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, you're terrible. I if mean, terrible. Although, I was just like, well, now who's going to testify? <laughs> although, I don't know if we need him to because Arnett did admit it, although he's totally going to get a lawyer and then probably, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling again. All right. Willie's apartment. Are we going to meet both of our old partners there? Because that'd be kind of awesome. I do love that they're involved. It said Sunset and Vine. That's, yeah, right Right around the corner, literally. Right, right over here, it's Hollywood. But Hollywood and Vine, not Sunset Vine. Willie's apartment, 1 a.m. He's around here somewhere, a big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this, the kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Shush, I hear Think one. He knits as well. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. I hear one. Us. Well, both of you be quiet, Wait. please. Cool. You hear that? Yeah. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. Go up the. Okay. All right, let's go. There he is. Where is this guy going? Again, it looks like. And some more. 
And some more. Oh, I'm dizzy. There we go. Uh, he went up again. Where is he? Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. Right? There he is! Wait for oh. son of a bitch! Wow, he's, a, he's got some great armor. I mean... I just was saying that took a lot of bullets. Son of a bitch <laughs> really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Uh. <laughs> Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. Eight million stories achievement unlocked. I feel like there was lots of damage because I did a, a, a side street crime and, well, not as much damage as I thought it was going to be. Julia Randall lived fast and died young, sending one man to jail and three to the morgue. Yeah, the doctor and both guys who killed her. There you go. Flashback? Maybe? Flashback! We have to get off of this hill! That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole! The 22nd are still fighting! Oh, it's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. <gasps> oh. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? I scratched, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. weird <laughs> Earl Phelps a shooting at the 111 club 6232 Hollywood Boulevard sounds like a homicide beef two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine again get over there before homicide tramples all over the place we already cleared that up judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday 
He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Yeah. Huh. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Yeah, I mean, I'm on vice, and I was on homicide. That makes... Any, anyway, okay, so case objectives. Manifest destiny. Multiple homicide at the 111 Club. Sounds like they shot the place up without much concern for who got in the way. The shooter's motives are unclear. All we know is that two victims turned up carrying army surplus morphine, and now Advice needs to make an appearance. We took a hundred grand's worth of this dope from Lenny the Fink, and somehow it's still reaching the streets. Probably because there was 200 grand's worth, apparently, <laughs> or something like that. But man, those cutscenes are, they're good. Yeah, I love the it. backstory. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge, it's not good. Mm, not good. Everyone has their vices, even you, Phelps. Does he? I'm going to make him take me to the pictures tonight. Anyway, I was saying the cutscenes are a great backstory for Cole and everybody else who's popping up. But oof, they're, they're, they're hard to watch. I'd say all's fair in love and war. Okay. He ran the light on Olympic and we finally collared him on Temple. Congratulations. Staff only. Nope. We want... Where's the door out of here? <laughs> I'm like, there is an exit. Somewhere. Let's try this one. Maybe this one is to the parking lot. It's not. Of course it's not. We'll just go the long way to your car, Roy. I thought we weren't supposed to be parking in the parking lot anymore. Wasn't that a thing? Or am I, am I making that up? I may be making that up. Well, while we wait on Roy, let's look and see if there's any street crimes that I can do. There is... One there. Um, it's close. So let's. Um, hmm. Where am I at? I'm. You know what? It's fine. We'll go do this. Oh, I'm down here. Yeah, let's go do the street crime. Come on, Roy. We're gonna get distracted already. There you go. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Hmm. Take the next left. Okay, right, left here. It's the next right. Excuse me. Excuse me, can we move a little faster, please? Thank you, thank you. Open your <laughs> eyes! I mean, it's fine. Go straight at the next intersection. Your car's still moving. What are you so upset about? Go straight through. Okay, and then... Any central unit suspect to be taken into custody at Southern California Auto Club. Stand by for further unit to handle identify code two. 11K responding. Go ahead with the further. 11K, see the security guard and apprehended suspect to be taken into custody from the Southern California Auto Club, 6201 Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, what just happened? I broke the game. Maybe. No. Secret Keepers. Automobile Club. Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons inside. I'm a reporter, you idiot! I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? The parking lot. His is the blue Talbot. Say, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. Come on, Roy. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Mm, parking lot? Can we get Don't there? Don't need this! From over here? Should I have gotten into my Isn't car? Isn't the cop who won a medal and is solving all the cases? I should have gone into my car. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Oh, no. Oh, look! 
Fuck, let's well, get into this one. Guilt if I ever saw one. He's not getting away that easily. No, he's not. <laughs> I already broke this shiny car. Oh, whoa. It goes real fast. Oh, you guys gotta be bummed. That was a gotta... tax-paying citizen. You just bounced off the fucking hood, Phelps. I know. I, I feel really bad about it. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Roy, you might want to sit down. Catch up with the bad guy. Oh, there he is. Apprehend the suspect. Get out quickly. How convenient that he apparently ran into another car. He Give just, it up, LAPD. Sitting there waiting for me to get there. Like this is harassment. Understand? My politics are nobody's goddamn business but my own. Roy, you lost your hat. <laughs> that car went real fast. Nine more street crimes. I, f I feel like I don't have them all, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to get a bunch. Maybe we'll get pretty close. We'll see. All right, Roy. Where are we going now? I think back this way. Next right. Is that the one that Cole goes to? No, that's the blue room, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's all fine. 111 Club, 4.36 p.m. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. Apparently. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. <laughs> He's like, I'll keep her company. <laughs> okay, well, uh, everything seems to be connected. Look at this guy. Just have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Yeah. Certainly sends a message. Why not? Gone to him at all? No. Okay. Guess a nothing. Just a cigarette stub? I'll come back to the bar. Ooh, a, a purse. One Eleven Club matches, I suppose. Ooh. 
When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Ooh. I don't think she likes you, Bukowski. A hat. Another day, another dollar. Nope, nope. There was something over here to click on. Just beer bottles. That's not, I don't think that's anything of any importance. And another cigarette stub? Okay. Oh, evidence marker. B. Well maintained. Custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Different mouthpieces for the trumpets? What's that click? Something underneath it, maybe? Neat case must have cost more than the trumpet. Get the crap out of me. Blue room ticket. Oh, really? We should follow up on the musician angle. He kept his stash close at hand. Oh my gosh. They like went a little bonkers with shooting people. Ugh. Yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, let's move on. Jacket pocket. Maybe. Do we have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Yes, we'll, uh, we'll just go both as options. Oh, nothing? No missing jewelry. <laughs> Other hand, I'm assuming, just in case. All right. Just when I think I've seen it all. Hmm. Such a big area too. Whoa, that's a lot of cigarette cartons. Dozen packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Yeah. Should we should we look inside to see if there's anything? I guess we want that. These look brand new, never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? I don't know. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Yeah, and you said the guy who owned the club was a former guy in your unit, right? So it's, it's all connected. Everything's connected. All right, let's interview this, this I'm sure, perfectly nice lady. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Okay, so 111 Club shooting incident. 
Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. I don't feel like she's telling the truth. Do you? I don't think so. <laughs> I ask you like you're going to answer me. No, I'm going to go with doubt because, well, because I can't. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club. Then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? So is it like Mickey Cohen's goon showing up? Because that's that's the guy who would do this right now, right? Let's look at her. She's like, ugh, can you go? I got things to do. Knowledge of Mick Goldrick? Who's Mick Goldrick? Hang on. Who's Mick Goldrick? Yeah, okay, that didn't help. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Huh. So Eddie is the guy who was in his unit in the Marines. Suddenly came into some money. We know what's kind of going on behind the scenes with the newspaper. So he was probably part of the guys who dealt with Mickey Cohen and all that morphine. So maybe that's where the money came from and continued to sell out of here. And that's why Mickey Cohen sent his goons to shoot him up. And did I just solve the I solved the case. Case over. We can go home now. <laughs> I'm going to go with truth. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Oh, that's it. We should probably go. I don't know where we're going to go, but we should go. So what next? Back to the station. We need to speak to someone on the robbery detail. Okay. Sure. Who's honking? I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. All right. Is someone gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Nope. No one's gonna tell you. None of your none of your business. Oh, we go to the blue room. That could be something. Yeah, let's do that. It's listed first. Let's try it. <laughs> the prominent jazz club and lounge bar. The Hollywood, the Hollywood station isn't going anywhere, right? How well did you know the owner? A Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. Yeah. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. Mm -hmm. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Probably. Blue Room, 5.15 p.m. I'm stumped. Ideas? Have a word with Elsa. And keep your mind on the job, huh? Okay, I didn't actually hit the space bar, so I, I didn't really need that. But I'm excited to come to the Blue Room, not in a cutscene, because I don't think we've been here outside of cutscenes. Can I shoot you before? I checked coats. That's all I get paid to do. Hey, okay. how about you? Advice? Have a word with Elsa. And keep your mind on the job, huh? Staff, ladies and gents, gentlemen. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. It, right. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo, or their knucklehead buddies Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stonefura? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! 
How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Okay. Um, <laughs> German exile and nightclub jazz singer. Oh, she's real pretty. Army surplus morphine. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Hmm. Hmm. Intuition? I, I I don't think that she's... I don't think that they're lying, but I don't feel like they're telling... I, hang on. Let's, let's actually go back. We'll just try it out. It'll be fine. You can do this yes. the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black men don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. I mean, to be honest, he, he is likely telling the truth. Morphine overdose victims. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. Now I'm going to use intuition. Again, I kind of want to say she's doubting, but um, yeah, I know she's not lying. I don't have any proof. To, we'll go with doubt again. It'll be fine. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? Yeah. It means that he just wasn't that good. Oh. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, Cole Phelps. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. I feel like I'm really missing something. <laughs> I feel like I missed something or I've forgotten something. The Blue Room, 10.34 p.m. Oh, I have to tail, tail her? Tail Elsa Lichtman. 34 p.m. and she's already done for the night. Maybe, maybe they're closed tonight or something. All right, turn right. I do like this car a whole lot better than Roy's car. Turn right again. Nobody judging me when I tail the suspects poorly, you know? Um, okay, I still see them. Right or left, right or left. Looks like they're 
are gonna go right. We're been at risk losing the trail. No, we're right here. Car's not moving. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Okay. I was just like, the car's not moving. How how was it too much slack? Did she just go home? And you're just following her home? That's kind of creepy, Cole. your partner just follow you as well? Oh, Cole. I feel like this is not going to end well for you. My little detective friends. I'm a combo cub at 11 through 25 a.m. <laughs> What's Roy going to say? Nothing? Really? LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. That cherry pie was delish. Who are you? All right, I'm coming. Sir, Mr. Cohen's table is bought. this way. Can I get a bowl of that chili? LAPD, we have some questions Hi, regarding- Hi, Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. <laughs> Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. <laughs> Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. <laughs> or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. <laughs> Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. <laughs> Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were really? in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? <laughs> you got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. <laughs> Do I need my lawyer? I don't know, do you? <laughs> of course, Roy. He's like a first name basis with Mickey Cohen. All that was kind of was implied when we did that boxy one. And then the snark and sarcasm and like shade they throw at each other is it's so it's so it's so great. Mickey Cohen, nothing he says is going to be the truth, right? Nothing. He's a, he's a career criminal, right? Finkelstein drug operation. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Uh -huh. I highly, highly doubt that. And if he had one third, where's the other two thirds? So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. <laughs> he was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. Okay. 
111 club shooting incident. I don't think he's kind of prominent organized crime boss is his description. <laughs> That's his, it's his job title. Uh, 111 club shooting incident. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Of course you wouldn't. Liar. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. <laughs> a few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Hollywood Police Station, oh, 12 oh, p.m. That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. <laughs> so where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This one... We will do that. And, 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 and we will continue on. This, this case is, is really good to the point to where I forgot that I'm, I'm past time already for today. I, I'm, all these extra tidbits are being thrown in with the madam case now, it seems like, and... It's just lots of different things happening, and I and I, I don't want to see what happens. <laughs> but we have to wait until Saturday, because like I said, I'm at time. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Saturday with another new L.A. Noir video.